your own feelings about it. You're in the middle of something that you don't really want to be in the middle of as far as... Yeah, I don't want to be in the middle of it. It's just... It's just not fun to have to stress about what I'm going to have to... What I'm going to be taken tomorrow by the police and be handcuffed. And what I'm going to have to deal with when I go back to my mother's house. So you even... It's, it's not just the uncertainty, but some fear as well? Yes. So... Um, how did the police, you know, when the police have come and taken you at different times, I mean, what are, your, how, what are your thoughts about the police? I've learned that the police are not really that good of people. They'll, they just do it. What my situation is, it's just whoever gets called out. If a good person gets called out, then they won't handcuff me and they won't even get back in the car with people who abuse me. But if someone is in a bad mood or if it's just a bad person who gets called out, I'll be I'll get handcuffed and I'll be forced to go back inside or get in their car and leave with them. Yeah. What do you think is the source of the evil? Is it, you know, your mother, your stepdad? Is it the system itself? Is it the judges? Is it I mean, what causes what has been the primary thing that has caused this problem? Well, my mother is a sociopath who has like behavioral problems with winning. She has to win at everything. And the system has allowed her to win over and over again and make me stay there and sue my dad and take his money while making me stay at her house. So one of the things that Judge Kiesenberry said, he kept on talking about your father and child support. Now, um, does your father do anything other than just pay child support? I mean, is, does he starve you when you're out here? Does he uh, never give you anything? Or? No, I'm given anything that I need and most things that I want. I mean, I live perfectly fine. I'm happy here. I go do things, I mean, it's, it's great here. Yeah. So as far as, let, uh, I wanted to ask you before about this, when, when your stepfather took your clothes, what did he take? I mean, everything? Yeah, just the whole closet. They just stuffed it all in a bag and they just took it. And, uh, so only what you were wearing was what you were allowed to wear? Yeah. It took your socks, your underwear, everything? Everything. Shoes? I mean, I had the shoes that I had on. Okay, and how long were they planning to keep it? I don't know. I mean, however long they felt like it was punishment enough for me for wanting to live with my dad. Wait a minute. Punishment for wanting to live with your dad? Yes. So they are trying to punish you for wanting to live with your dad, and they're going to call that acting in your best interest? Yes. And, and the police call it parenting. That, 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 that's what they say it is when they come out. They can do whatever they want. It's parenting. Well, it's very interesting because often the police uh, go after people that when they're parenting, everything is fine, but they find something that they say, well, this is abusive. You spanked your child. That's abusive. Um, you know, spanking should... Can... Those are not the interactions with the police that I've had. Okay. The Parker County police are not good people. I, I've had good interactions with the police in Frisco, but never in Parker County. Okay, and how many, how many interactions have you had with them in Parker County? Like four or five. Okay. So, um, just to be clear, um, if you were speaking right now to Governor Greg Abbott, if you were speaking to the President of the United States, if you're speaking to the judge, if you're speaking to anybody, what do you want right now? I want them to change the system, to not allow this to happen to anybody else. And what about as far as for you personally? For me, yes. I just want to live with my dad. I don't need anything else. I just want to live here and to get away from my mother. Okay. Um, tell me anything else that you want to say. I want to say that my dad never took me or abducted me from my mom. I've wanted to live here. I want to, will continue to want to live here. And I just want to get away from my mother and her husband. But so, hit me and just done all kinds of stuff. Let me ask one other question. Yes. The things that your mother is alleging, are they true or are they false? They're it, all false. They're all false. So she's, she's submitting stuff to a judge. Yes. And she's lying. She, yes, she lies all the time. She lies to the police officers. She, she lies to the judge in court on the stand, saying that we have a loving relationship when that's not true at all. She doesn't even really like me because I don't want to live with her. And I don't like her because they abuse me. What are your thoughts about justice in our system? I mean, do you do you trust people? Do you trust 
authorities, like judges and police? No, not at all. I don't judge. I don't judge. I don't. I don't trust any judges or police officers at all. Yeah. They they haven't given me any reason to. Yeah. And what about the law itself? I mean, you're not a lawless person. I mean, no. you respect the law. I respect the law. I follow the law. Yeah. But the people who enforce it are not good people. They don't follow the law themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so again, right now you're an A student. A couple of high Bs. Bring those up. Gotta bring those up. I mean, 88 is a really bad, bad, bad score for somebody who's not going to school because your father's keeping you away from going to school. Um, 88 in Spanish, 89 in geometry, and 89 in, I forget what the other one was. Everything else is, you know, 90s and 100. So, um, you don't look like you're being abused here. No, not at all. Um, now, your mother said that you were that great of a student out there. Is that true as well? Yes. So, the school, the, your, your ability to, to perform well at school had nothing to do necessarily with where you were living? No. But after school, like when you're back home, you just didn't want to be at home? Yeah, I didn't want to be at home. It was, it was stressful to be in the house. It was, it was, it's hard to like, make myself walk in the house when I know all the bad things that have gone on in the house and that can, can continue to go on. Do you resent judges for thinking that they can order you away from your father? Yeah, I, I resent judges in the system that they can write words on paper that justify what I do on a daily basis. Like, I have to leave on Friday at 6 o'clock. How, how can a judge just sign a paper and say that just because my parents are fighting when it, when it affects me? Yeah. When, when I can think for myself and, and say what I think. It just doesn't seem right to me. Do you resent the fact that um, in our state, many of the lawmakers seem to ignore this whole issue and they just let it go on year after year? Let's yeah, this, it should be, this, this should be one of the number one issues because it happens to tons of people. Yeah, and what I, what I found was very interesting. I was at a conference this past weekend. They said 25% of the children in Texas have a child support order. What that means is that 25% of the children in Texas are either coming from a divorced family, a family that's never been formed. 25%, one out of every four child, children has to deal with something like what you're dealing with. Maybe not to the same degree, some people maybe even in a worse degree. Right, so that's like half of the parents in Texas that have fought in the system. There are a lot of people, yeah. And because, you know, every year, uh, what's happening is every year there's more people. And then some people age out, but there's like a new fresh inflow of people. So I think that when you look at this number, even though it says 25% right now, if you look cumulatively, I, I, I'm guessing, and I, I'm not, I can't say that for, you know, definitively, but the number is much, much, much higher. The children that have been affected, the parents that have been affected, the grandparents that have been affected. I wish you the best. And, and part of the reason I came up here tonight, um, because I just heard, I just found out about this not even a couple of hours ago. You have a fear right now that somebody's going to come and take you back to live with your mom. Yeah. And you'll never get to speak again. Right. I'll just be locked up in their house. Yeah. And you want your voice to be public. Right. Yeah. Okay. And, and for the people who watch this video, I'm not just saying bad things about my mom and Jimmy to make them look bad. I'm saying what's happened and saying, like, the truth. Like, like yeah. I didn't just come and ask you to come here so I could talk about bad about them. I'm just saying what's happened and what they put in an order and that it's a lie and that my dad is a good person. Yeah. He's wanted a relationship with me my entire life and he's fought right. to do it. Yeah. 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 Well, um, again, I wish you the best. We all wish you the best. And um, everything will go public. Um, that's all we can do. Thanks so much. Thank you.